Hi, it's Chris. And the weather is finally starting to break. It's getting warmer out, so we can probably go camping and do some more biking. So if you want to keep your uh, Ryobi batteries charged, either two of your 18 volts or one of the uh, 40 volt batteries, uh, I found this new inexpensive solar boost controller that works pretty well. Let's take a look at it. The inexpensive MPPT solar boost controller arrived today, so I'm pretty excited to check it out. What's nice is it has a uh, input voltage of anywhere from 12 to 50 volts and then it has a battery voltage of anywhere between 24, 36, 48, 60, 72 are the specified ones but then you can also set your own voltage. On the side there's a four LED display that shows you the uh, solar panels charging voltage, the charging current and also the battery voltage so you no don't need an external display which is nice. The specs say it can handle under 300 watts the LEDs on front cycle through three different settings. It shows you here the amount of current that's going into the battery. Then it shows you that the battery voltage is 41.9. And then it shows you that the solar panel is 19.7. So to set the battery voltage, you hold the set button in for 10 seconds. Then it shows you the different Settings 24, 36, 48, 60, 72, or self. And we want the self. You hold that again. Then it will show you the, the, vet, the voltage that it's going to set it to. And so you can keep on holding that down. Every time you click it, it goes up one. And if you hold it down for long enough, it starts going fast. So we want 41.7 or so, something like that. So it's going to rotate all the way around. And once it gets to, see the highest you can go is, okay, 80 something. So now it's wrapped around. It's going back up 30. And we get to 41. We'll stop it. So and then I want to go to 41.7. And then you just let it sit for a minute and it will accept that voltage. So now we've changed it so that the solar panels are 19, the current is zero, and the battery voltage is now 41.7. I've soldered on an XT60 connector so I can connect it to different devices and it has an inline fuse, which is nice. I've soldered some MC4 connectors onto the controller so that I can connect it directly to my solar panels. So I cut the cable on the power adapter for my little charger and I spliced in some XT60 connectors. I've got the MPP controller hooked up to the Ryobi 40 volt charger and it's using the uh, DC input and if you look down here you can see that the uh, the solar panel is 19.5 volts. We're putting about almost 3 amps in and the battery voltage is 36.2. Another alternative is to charge two 18 volt batteries in series. So it's a, essentially a, a 36 volt battery. The co combined battery voltage is 38.7. The solar panels are 19.3 and we're getting about 3 amps from the solar panels. You can pick up these MPPT Boost Solar uh, Charge Controllers for under $40 on eBay. It's uh, pretty amazing because the uh, outputs are adjustable uh, compared to the high quality Genesun waterproof uh, charge controllers which go for almost $200. Keanu, what do you think? Well, I hope this was helpful. Please hit like and subscribe and have a great day.